Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's now 2.30 and we start our session today. So welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, those who are uh, following us online and our colleagues here, uh, welcome to this session today. I'll be your moderator. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Edwin Piagon from Kenyatta University, uh, Department of History, Archaeology and Political Studies. I teach uh, history there. Um, okay, so let me start uh, by introducing our speaker today in this series of talks, uh, which is hosted by the Department of History, University of Nairobi, under the broad theme of uh, histories of contested spaces, expropriation, governance, and post-colonial modernity in Kenya. Our speaker today, uh, seated with of us here, is going to enter movement and is going to speak to us on a topic which I will use uh, on the topic of survival strategy of the Samuel Masaramis of Kenya, Europe and Analysis. And if you want to use my life, Institute of Social Transformation and Gaza University College, Nairobi. He also works in philosophy and theology from the Baniana Pontifical uh, University in Rome, and an MA in philosophy from Sapienza University in Rome. In the South, I was a in School of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences at Sayumara University, Kenya, uh, 2016 to 2017. Uh, he has worked in the fields of climate change, advocacy, and governance in northern Kenya. And most of the next research interests are in sustainable development, focusing on the Sambul. So I must indigenous knowledge of climate change, of climate change adaptation. Okay. In this presentation, we will see the case for the role of European heritage, personal mobility informed by deep cultural knowledge in which social, economic, and political life is anchored. As a key survival strategy during the repeated climate crisis among the Samburu pastoralists of Kenya. I will the work of modernist contrast, contrast constructs uh, that portray personal mobility as a progressive and dangerous. The total of this is that the local heritage provides insights into the transformative. Climate adaptation strategies among the Sambulu personalists of northern Kenya. So, let me uh, put an internet if you are ready, and close to us. We have about one hour uh, to discuss, and then we'll come with questions later on. Ribu. So can you have the first slide? So I'll start with the greetings. And uh, for the Sambu, we greet uh, SRM Poku. And then the response, you can respond. Where were you? Where were you? 
Yes, yes, yes. That's correct. So we have to see. I would like to uh, recognize and that is the basis of the commonalities my ancestors who are known to this county in Nairobi. I'm concerned <laughs> this went away, this university. So you know, my parents, this is the one who is the cold place. The cold place, the cold place is where the new pastorist have a question, the reason we get water, we get uh, grass, we get a good environment and interact with the nature. So I am also very happy to stand today in this cold university. Cool university where we are aiming to transform the world. Uh, also looking at the indigenous knowledge. And today we are uh, in this case of the Samburu. The Samburu we have introduced me uh, ourselves. I think we can go for the second slide. It's not the same that we do. Uh, maybe in, as you do, we are in, in a modern way. The Sambu, and that is the title for the Sambu introduce themselves. For us, we don't say the afternoon. Or how to do it. We say, Namaira. We will be able to do what we want to do. We will be to do what we want to do. If I introduce myself to my community, I will only use one of the one. One name in the world. That's my family, heritage, work, time, and family. And we have a group of people that says mutual or to think about each other. For us, we say when we meet you, the problem says, do not harm me before you ask me to who you belong to, or to you to who you belong to. Because how to make the relationships will be the same as the one. You can be my cousin, you can be my brother, you can be uh, related to me. So, so the two questions of this presentation, what does the title mean to, to the Samburu people? Where do the Samburu live in, in different seasons? How is the title relevant to the survival of the Samburu and its, and its uh, crisis? And not least, crisis. Uh, it's not only one uh, crisis or in regards to climate change. The whole crisis that the pastoralists can, uh, can, uh, can get. This is the second, second uh, best, best slide. So, who do the Sambur say they are? They are so, the Sambur. But who do the Sambur say they are? They are, they are, they are the triple, uh, triple uh, identities. One, they call themselves Sambur. Sambur is a. Uh, the people who have the letter, 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 uh, letter mark. They also call themselves letter. The, the, the people who own the land, of course, their land. Even Nairobi, the, the name Nairobi and so many other, the other. The letter, they also say that they are the treasure, the treasure, so people who own the animals. Please proceed. Okay. How do they do their words? We have a category uh, here, we have uh, our set and the top, top rice. We have the supreme bean, we call it in Thai, in Altera. Altera means the name of the land, the Makui, the ancestors, in nature, in Kok, the Tagami elders, the Rosho, the Minki, which includes women, children, the Rangs, elderly. And the last ones in the and the All these categories, oh, categories are, are relevant to the level. In my current the, the one who, who lives in Mount Nero, a set of mountain, Black Mountain, where Ryan Kai lives, and he calls the pastoralists, he protects them from their enemies, he gives them rain, and also where the rules. Regulations of, of the community comes from. The ancestors, they are very proud of us. They live this life with us. And before they die, before an, an elder dies, he calls the family people and also the, those close to him 
and tells them, you should be when I die, I will get you to see you do one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. Or please pay the debts. Or please do not go to that places because when I was young, I went there in my in my work and I got he said, do not repeat what? Do not repeat my history. And he says, I will be sleeping and on my feet where they are sleeping now. And they are watching us and they follow us. And so I'm very close. And the elders, they throw a milk and they throw a tobacco before they bring to sell, to sell them. Please, our elders, take our ancestors, take the milk and take the, take the tobacco. Nature, nature for us, we are very close to the nature. Starting from uh, what we eat, the animals, the grass, the water, even the medicine, uh, even this. Uh, material culture here is, is, a, is a good mala. So we get, we get from uh, the nature. Even this ceremonial stick, we get everything from the nature. The elders are, these are um, our, our moving uh, libraries because they have all the knowledge from their different works in their lives. So they only transmit to, to the young ones. The community, of course, the women, the men, the children. That part and parcel. So, for me, the thinking of doing things and also practicing rules, uh, even ceremonies. Then, then, they are very important. In fact, the elders will say, let us um, protect our lifestyle because of the, those who are, those children who are coming, they are coming soon. I mean, they want, want them to come and, and get a, a good lifestyle, a, 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 a good lifestyle for them to continue with their heritage. So please uh, proceed. So in the middle of that uh, presentation, there was uh, a mer. Mer is Utu, in Swahili. Human, in humanness. So this unit, so these are elements of, of, of Utu and Mer and generosity. So as a Samuel, you have to be generous, especially also in terms of when you are moving with your animals, you have to support each other. So then we have to really live in peace, live in those we are, when you meet, when you move, or when you have that mobility. We have to be one. That they say, not a certain security. Let us be one because the cause of a bench. We believe a super prosperity. And our prosperity is to have the total that takes us uh, everywhere that we learn. In Kipinisium, in fact, in, 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 in the field of justice, is where really the elders, when they use and their challenges, they use justice to administrate issues. In Palit, respect. That's the highest. You are told you must have Palit. And Palit is respect. Respect yourself, respect the elderly, respect the entire, respect the, uh, the nature, uh, everything. Reconciliation, mandate. So it, when the challenges occur, especially oh, when they are moving in the photo, there must be a reconciliation. And not just reconciliation with two people, reconciling yourself with those two people, with the families, with the clan, with the sub with the nature, and finally with the Mukai. So that from there, everyone is contented. Of course, there are, there are preparation issues. Please proceed. Sanduru Hongrans, after the second great work and the uh, expansion. So the first work. Was um, they come from? They came from a place. They say they came from a place called Okto, a very far place, a known place. Of course, the scholars they located in uh, along the river Nile in Ethiopia, Sudan. So in the first picture, the the mountain you can see the mountain, the blue mountain, that the sacred mountain, Mount Nero, and that's where the practices, the guidance of Ngai, comes from in regards to Alototo and uh, social and political life. And then you can see the data map there, which has uh, the location of the county, Samburu County today. Of course, these are colonial boundaries. Samburu County, then you have Lakita Down, Isiolo, Turkana, Masabit. So, why am I talking about the second great walk? And, and you see from top, let me go to Turkana, you can see the mountains, Mount Kuria, Mount Nira, that's the one. Uh, Mount Mansabit, Dolce Mountains, we have Wetlands, we have Highlands. So why am I talking about this great uh, work? And by the way, these mountains are the... Oh, so 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 
And the Maasai also had a Samburu. And our leader went back upwards. So the Kambalana, the land has been taken like Ika. Most of the land are different routes. So our leader went up to Samburu and settled where they are. Others went to Baringo, uh, Baringo like James. Others went to Tanzania, northern Tanzania, southern Kenya. And, and, and there are very much now those who are in the like So please proceed. The church of two main works. So there is a law departure. So this heritage you must depart, but also you must return. In the morning, you depart, in the animals, the evening, you come. And all this has a lot of preparation and knowledge associated with this work. And then on the, on the right, you can say there are places of walking. So there are different places how to walk. Yeah, I think it slow, slow, makes the, the next best word. I should say, let's go fast. I must not feel the death, let's go fast. This is especially when, uh, when there, are, there, are, there are issues, especially when we are moving. When you see that the lines are in that direction, you make, you make yourself as harder and the, and the animals. Let's, the animals must go fast. Most of the maybe the country. The last one is a threat when there's emergency. Really a threat in a state of life. Please proceed. So the total etiquette of walking. So there is a way the uh, women can walk, there's a way men can walk. Men's way of walking. So one man is they should walk a strong woman. They are, they are much in the states when they are walking, like mine. Here is majestic walk, especially the Morans. This is running, straight line walk, yeah? like, like this stick. So I like our way of thinking behavior should be straight. The hunter cannot, cannot walk without something. He walk with a stick, and this like this one here, or walk with a ring, this one here. They are full and dark. They are full and dark. They are full and dark. They walk with the hills raised. The Morans, the men, eh? While the, uh, while their bodies run forward. Then to, in the first place, I have to make work on the man, women's way of walking. Let's put a sobia in a show. Walk with a straight stick in the hand. Not this one. Then there's some kind of standard kick. But walk with the feet flat on the ground. That one was first. Next one, the legs, the legs walk relatively slow. Please proceed. So this is the The less relationality of Lototo. So, it's something also relates Lototo in different things. One they say is Kongo. The earth is moving. The point of the city is in the city. The clouds are running. When you talk fast at a person, they go with a few step down because you are running fast. You are Lototo. You are moving fast. Let us relate what is shadows. In the morning, the shadow is very long, pointing to where the sun is, the sun is, and we go down. In the midday, the, the shadow is very short under the feet. So, somebody will tell me when the, when the shadow was under my feet, that's the time I, I departed with my animals. Uh, the thing is, when my, my, my shadow was long, I noticed the sun. That's in the evening. And so the length of the shadow will measure the time. 
can we say is hacker or not? And then the question one, when they, when they have a secret, so they, they are doing some things in the secret, they tell you, please, know that corporal woman, this is like a matter of corporal woman, know that the ones who work, the total work, and the ones work. The last one is letter, 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 and time. When the rome comes, we call it in Kali, we say the rooms which are uh, coming and going as well. This proceed. So in TFAT, well, well, the other types of working. So where do the some rooms? So every, every day, the total empire will work. The habits have to work, whether you are a man, a woman, children, or, or even parents, because there is a the responsibility in it. You're either going to, to fetch water, you're either going to, for, to take animals uh, for water, and, and also the total of animals. So even in the morning, you depart with the animals and you come back. The total of animals, this is a system of work. And this one is different from the way you walk, because it's, it's a system. Well, especially when it does not rain, so you have to, be, you have to move now the, uh, the animals to a different place, because they know how to produce different systems. They know that in system, uh, some some oil, uh, black system, they know uh, they, they, they know the mountain where they are. Maybe under the mountain, or uh, near the mountain, source of the mountain. Another thing is in the, in the uh, slope areas, another in the flat areas. So they know every system. So this is a system of work. So you depart in a certain system, and you come when the another system comes. So the concept of a law and a law too. So those are the seasons, um, white season, black season, uh, lambda, lambda is when there is really difficult, like the progress and uh, drought that happened like two years ago, two, three years ago. Even making people to get out of their territory and go to other counties, like Massabit, like even uh, uh, Nandala, Mount Kenya, going up to Mount Kenya, a lot of frustration. And the, for the literature, some of the uh, animal is, uh, is a man of the systems and they know where to, to go. The literature, well, so, this is the long migration map. This one, also, the first one was second, and this one is, is, is the first. The origin of the Samburu. The literature, also, I mean, they came from a long distance place. I was, I was explaining the, the, the location according to the scholars today. And uh, the second one, both the displacement of uh, the Samburu and also the Masai from Nakipia. And what time place? And of course, we need the the lost the land, the, the, the animals uh died, they lost the grass, they even lost them the 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 the, the money that brought also in, in the key to a lot of history uh, surround, surrounding it. So thank you, person, please. Beyond that and age in the work. So every person has a reason to work. And this one, the one the one I'm saying about the story is never so just working from home to work. That's not the story I'm talking about here. It's a good knowledge. So I will start from uh, workplace. I start with the literature launch and then women's work. Why do we work? One, how can they put in the A yellow moon, searching, uh, I mean, uh, long, searching for building materials. A young cake, searching for fire. Lamal, they are not usual when there is droughts and there is no way to survive. The men, the women can come together, they use this mala, they put milk in this mala and water, and then they tie grass on, on this, and then they put here, they have a stick and they go to the brick. So many of them go in 50, 100, and they go to the river. They pour the milk in the river and they, they tell them, hey, please, you might, you might be hungry here and there. But at least we need the forgiveness and we like rain so that we can survive, you can continue that work. Param, param is a, you remember the generosity as, um, aspect of it. When you have a talent as a, as a, as a Samburu, you can go to a, another person who has something and you ask for um, help. And we are going to, because of that generosity aspect. You must have, uh, you must enjoy the, the other person. Let us work again, tell that to work. Uh, I don't see uh, the writings, but um, one is a young woman uh, seeking uh, one's information. They also go for meetings. 
We have these uh, meetings to, uh, to address issues of multiple and the challenges. We also uh, work the time. Um, um, and, and they also um, they know how to manage the torture. So they have meetings before the pattern. So even when the when, when the animals and the animals will come, so management. So they also have um, that responsibility. The torture not not only like work. So even boys and girls work. For what reason? One, I request them. They are hardest. Every day they are on course. You are either with the goats or cows or camels or sheep. You must align yourself to to a specific uh, type of animal. I also encourage, of course, take them to water, to drink water. The doctor and the ceiling, they also participate in rituals. Even those are related also to the doctor. And the doctor, they also enjoy dancing and singing. And this one is better when they're returning from the seasonal work. Because they'll be seeing what they have seen, what they've had in that journey. So if they are expressing their knowledge, what they saw, the courageous, how they are courageous, how the animals were strong, how the animals, the legs of the animals were very weak. Yeah. And then uh, the last one is the uh, total animal, the mirror animal. They go around, around the scouting work, like keeping an eye on it. So they, before they, they, go, they go for keeping a work, they are friends, two of them go for around, go and scout the area. Keep an eye on the area and come and bring us information. Then the elders now we look at that and judge and, and see the challenges. And then you might find whether the, the, the animals will meet or not. How oh, soon? They are the ones who work with the animals. You see the wells, there are even three or five people. They measure the length of the wells to the height of the people. So that's their work. And they do it for community, for everyone. So as long as you take your cattle there for the animals, they will do that work. Even if they all do it. Lagata, they put now the Lagata is temporary settlement in the system of work where they do. So that's their responsibility to go and do, make sure that everything is okay for protecting, protecting them from uh, wild animals, even animals. And then, of course, farm, they, do, they do that kind of farm for, for ceremonial purposes. Even for like, to buy this, they can go for farm to buy this or to prepare something else. Yeah, so proceed, please. So why do they work? Because I've been told about working, working. One, they move to they walk to mountains, low and wild, and they will be eating grass and water. How should they retire from the enemies? And I will tell you, while eating the beast, in fact, they say eating the beast, looking for wild honey, before one mati, looking for beauty, please, when they are sick, even when the animals are sick. So suppose they can't, they can't access the mountain, like in the location of forest, the national forest, what happens? It is, because it's broken, they also break the flat, flat areas. So what reason? I'm going to go to the mountain, I'm going to go to the salt mix. They are found in the flat areas. So you can be even 10 kilometers, depends on the distance. And the sand animal. So they have acacia fruits. We are very delicious to the animals, especially during the drought season. So you have to take, to take the animals to the flat areas, to the fish, acacia and trees, and we use uh, the the some materials that they use and they shake. And then they, 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 they the 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 animals they eat. And there are common rules governing the acacia. There's one that if you cut a, a branch. We eat a, we, the elders will eat a goat. And we cut another one with a grass. You see? So those who think that the person is um, are not friendly with the environment, I think there is one of those here. Say that rivers, they take for rivers to rivers. Why? I have some watering animals out of the area, digging wells. So all the preparation, either when where you want to go, you need to go and ensure that there is water there. And out the animal, that's for women. The women who shall walk in the, in the river. Around. Around is the keeping eye of the area. The morons go there, and then the monarchy. And then in the sea, they are, they are to attack. And then in the season, so go, go to the seasonal place and see what is happening there, and come and report to the elders. Then they will make a judgment. Please proceed. 
the total material culture for survival. And I think already I have some, some of them here. I can set from the left, carry up the wells. So you see the morans? One moran is up there, another one is there. They are swimming. So the wells will be where the, 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 the level of the water. So other have 10, 10 high people, five high people, short people, will be yeah, you, uh, something like you, 10 times. So you have to look for high or people in the height. I mean, you can see that they can, they can move out the water. Yeah, they can move their shirts. They can't see the hands of that person. And then control. Long, even stick. That's what is the, 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 the end of that. Moran, I think Moran holding under the tree. Acacia, that's Acacia. You know, to shake the tree, and the, the, the Acacia tree will fall down to, to the animals. Malati, this is the one. Mara is this one. And this one is for milking. And uh, milking must be the time of the work. We store water here, I mean, when others store milk or even water for the kids and for the elderly, or even for, yeah, for those who are uh, milking. And you can see the child on top of the, and then on the ground of the mother. He's also running, or he's running, you see? Why do you think the mother has not left her or him somewhere? Learning aspects. And then the cow carved the wooden log. I think you, you, can, you can see there on top of the well, there's a cow uh, that uh, um, brings uh, uh, the animals to, to take water. So you know, carrying things. You see a donkey on top, there is uh, branches, well uh, cut, and you see a child on top. And, and also this mountain, uh, and then women uh, are also thing. So it will be very crucial uh, to carry this animal. There, there is the moran there. You can see the moran. He, he holds um, there on his hands. And then he has a ring. This one on the hand. This one. And then he has a, a knife in the rest. And then these other these beautiful things. The head. Yeah, we have a red in the head. Yeah, so this for the protection. Please proceed. Lakota rituals for survival. So we have rituals to enable us to survive in this Lakota. One is Lamal for women. I think I, I explained that. Women's rights at the river. The second family. These are rivers of stars and they are currently found in the mirror, the, black, the, the, the mountain I showed you. And they read the stars. They communicate the stars even during the day about words to give information of what's happening to our people, especially what are the places. That are dangerous. When when the rain comes, they are so they can put this to, to the hands. And there's what what is the certain uh, uh, that the elder said? He said that oh, it's not like he, he does not want people to know the total. Nobody's going to know. But the core family, the rebirth of animal intestines. So they have a speciality on that. They read the intestines and they can put the message. Also relevant to the total. Jan Matlak, the leader of the Sanders. So the Sanders are the ones who are carrying the parcel list when they are moving. Not, not the shoes, this one here. They have the account. So the, the leader is a matriarch in the in the around the When we went to the family of Latin in the in a different season, we take the sandals to her. And she's going to throw the sandals up, and depending on the direction of the sandals, a message will come to you. Uh, please proceed. So, all these are relevant to uh, the torture. So, how is person is affected? How is the torture person is affected? One, in particular, for the seasons. So, Maybe at, at, um, uh, at some time, uh, at some point, they know how to predict uh, seasons. But the, 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 in the twenty seasons of uh, uh, that climate change, some seasons are not predictable. So the time that this is not rain, and it was supposed to be rain. So that's, that's it, it, it really disorientated the, the movements. Another one is uh, land grabbing. When the land is grabbed, where will we move to? Where, where are the predators to go? Real suffolk, mm -hmm. be and let me 
read this, this uh, affect the location because even the, the bones, the, the legs of the animals are weak in this time. The skin are really touched with the bones. You can see the bones protruding. You can't, you can't move. You remember the, the faces? You can't watch these challenges. What am I wrong to before? None of those conflicts. They have to run away from this area, and that also they are affected because if they are supposed to access a mountain and there are these countries, they can't do it. Why would they go at that time if they were supposed to go to the mountain or even flat areas? What will happen if the flat areas are really bad? Why will they go and see some? You see? When land is subdivided by the way, the Sambuca people have the middle land. And that's why the paper is possible. So when land is divided, fences are everywhere. There are no roots. Even the roots of where they, where, where they have to go and drink water, somebody grabs that root and fix the fence. And all the animals make their roots. And there is an interaction of the animals with the hunters with the roots. So when fences are everywhere, where do they go to? Even if you want to access a mountain, where do they pass to? And they are not pliers to, to, to use. And then if they are feel of one lesser time, hostile policies or even loss. You can also imagine during the time of British colonialism, what happened when the first people were seen to be very uh, uh, chaotic. That's why they grab the land, they ensure that they are not, uh, uh, they should be pushed every time and, and made to run away from the land. So, a loss. There's some loss that really affect, uh, or even in a certain county that are not friendly with the populace, and they need to pass somewhere or tell their, their land to go to a land in Marseille, and a county that not accept that route, what will happen that? So the, the policies and loss. Please proceed. What is this related to Lotto? So how is the, this Lotto now relevant? So one, Rototo helps the Sambu to do the scene. I'm sitting on the on top, yes. walk to the riches, to have a walk to the riches. And I mentioned one of those, uh, Lam Lamba. Get to me, Mikare. The walk assists the personalist to walk to water, water places. Tara, Tara, same. The walk helps the and others and even the bodies I mean, the, the animals are healthy bodies, walking healthy bodies. Sarah and the Dawn, so connection, connect, connection between people and people, people and land, people and animals, animals and, and land, animals and animals in different places. So a little connection, of course, with the interactions, knowing what the rest of the, what has happened to different people and, on, and also learning from each other. That happened when there is war. From, especially from different seasons, land regenerates. Where we are next in one season, it will regenerate for the next season. And so we see come in that kind of rotation. Well, I learned my life. It is the rotation that I see specialists for somebody to run away from the enemies. If there is no way to run to, what will happen? Learning as we walk. So the, the elder, yet my father, tells me of the stories of the walk when I was young. So all the language is related to the walk. Every where they are fighting, when he was born, when the sun was, they were walking. And so to learn. So without the walk in this place, there's no knowledge. You cannot tell us about a, a, a knowledge of someone who went when you are staying at your home crowds. It's not knowledge. So it's the word means no, no pastoralist knowledge. This person. So I'm quoting a, a scholar called uh, Sonjay Sultan, who has a book, has written a book, One Good Dreams is called a prophet. And he says this was, he, he has written this book in regards to the local work, work of the pastoralists in general. So he says these words, we are mammals. We must be moving, following our animals. Of course, this means that it's a strategy to uh, work. 
Movement is life for us. Movement brings us happiness. Movement makes us who we are. So no work, we are nobody. We don't know who, who we are. We have no knowledge, we have no history. So you please proceed. So certain narratives are the stories about your daughter. So you know the stories, certain stories are written about your daughter. And I was just mentioning some of the narratives already created, which are really the meaning of past reason, like uh, I quoted those scones, 2023, uh, defines uh, pastoralism as extensive use of remembrance. Um, I, I wish I would have read that, but there are parts here, more than just of keeping. But here are what I was explaining the church of that. Is that capitalism? Is that only uh, uh, rather than use the mobility? Is that really true? There are no more things. Scones, 2023. So, in fact, it's saying that the pastoralism mobility is, is referred to the others as backward people, environmentally destructive, the past three, uh, the first one the change. Special the issue of modern, modern that with the life production, the radical uh, use, and, and, and then there's a first countries, more pictures everywhere. That, that, that's what is associated to pastoral mobility. And you can contrast this with all the other extreme. Cameroon, at all, at all, at all, pastoralism have no idea of individual land. Do you think we don't have an idea of individual land? Of course, we will learn more, but we have an idea of our land. And we know our, our boundaries, our social boundaries. And they do not value environment. Partially, some people partially, even the value environment, whether it's a story with the trees, with the mountains, with the value of the, you know, what we are doing, what I am, I'm holding here. You think we don't value or some people don't value environment? Shaman Khan, tell me that thing. In the current media, bad news about the about the stories of conflict and doubt. Is it the only thing? Are there good, good news, good knowledge about pastoralism? And this creates perceptions. And also the end finds behind because of the policies, which have already been created established during the colonial uh, colonial time, put down by the current government. And continue with the same line of thought. This was the current passage. So, settler colonialism, nationalism, and the pastoralist in China. So, there are some um, others I've put on the left, like Wang Joy and Kiboy, 2022, and Weber, 2023. We are talking about one of the issues, so I was saying, and even first three displacement of pastoralists. In the TPM, another uh, parts of the Red Valley, Red Valley, sorry. And then we, we, in JPI 2022, talks about threatening conflicts, which also brought about by the Red Valley. Uh, and then the Red Valley, 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 the Red uh, especially the under 1040, talks about 27 containment, where we were saying that um, during the time of British, the, the police was a new contained distance, this pastoralist. There is no containment. And then uh, now that, that now depended with that also how to, to locate resources. They can imagine now where the need condition is because of these policies. Where is the pattern where in need condition is? The visit of the areas, and imagine taking a car from there to, to a river, or even to Nairobi, you got the effect of this. Now, you can see uh, 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 the second uh, land uh, alliance, which has given a history of land versus in Nigeria. In 1899, land territory of the United States. In 1899, the British families to set the law and inhabited lands for the matter of the Nineteen fifteen, that's why I know the certain white right highlands. Of course, in other even other parts of the of the country, like uh, Hill Valley. 
And all the day work from the time, and that's how you people, especially the 999 leases. Even after the collapse, they did not the mass of their lives. And since the the first time the government now, the government, uh, the government, what happened? Started with the uh, defense, of course. The land driving more than the government in different parts of the country, including the capitalists. And the land was not given back to them. Even though it's despite all these um, efforts and plans, today, the same story continues. Injustices. The land is still being trapped for different purposes. Please proceed. So, a continuation of where did the colonial and colonial and post colonial scientific research recommendations tell that the Sanguru, normality of two are catastrophes. Thank you. The fact that there is the recommendation of one like Spons 23 on London pastoralism. In the world, please be modern. Do you want to be modern? For this, for in policies of containment, that's what I was explaining, that's containing the pastoralist. Instead of the engagement, a good livestock. Uh, livestock. Consider the, the other one, income by diversification. Please diversify your livelihood. Everything will happen if you only diversify right and you leave your top. And this is population. There are too many. Some theories are there. See, there are too many. Please have few, few, few people so that you can, you can uh, eat in a right period. So you don't suffer, you don't cry with them. Smart agriculture. And, and uh, about smart agriculture. So, with pastoralism, become an um, agriculturist. What, what, what's happening in that, uh, that transition? Subdivide lands, settle, please. You guys are just moving everywhere. How did you settle? But is the written only, is it an issue or is it a body of knowledge? Is it an interaction of places of people? It's our life. It's, it's, it's our life. Land needs for conservation. Tourism. I think we are new to this. The issue of carbon credits, I imagine, well, and, uh, which is connected to conservation. So we do this land, we conserve, we then get uh, assistance for the carbon credits fund, funding. But what will happen if the first one is land we we only be for conservation? And there's conservation. This model of conservation, the first one already have their own model. And then we can have a model. Who is doing the calculation of the carbons in terms of the, 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 the man? Where is the formula? Where is the community? The, the land belongs to them. So who is the first stage on this? Who should have the, uh, the, the formula? You see, so those, those are the things, and even tourism. And by the way, this for tourism, uh, the biggest uh, um, uh, world resource are all affected in Mass Islands. The Sambudu National uh, Park, National Park, the Masai National Park, and the same. So do they know how to conserve the environment, the animals? They, they, that was a case, that was really the case. There are no animals in those, in those areas. So they know how to live together. That's the one that you need to respect the nature and everything that moves on, on, on the land. This pursuit, So whether the rise of colonial and post-colonial policies is anger, anger, where shall we go? The question is, where shall, shall we go? That's really stigma in terms of rights, attitudes, mainstream media, and all this, getting, getting passwords of objects, land, and the talking, and all things about the what is land, like not productive, arid, even the definition of uh, some arid and some arid, Animals, but they don't, they don't tell us the 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 amount of minerals that they are coming in for two different things. They don't tell us those things. Even the animals, the non-national aspects, even the economy at the level ground, the national national level. How do we some people do this? 
loss of one per one will mean loss of the total, which will mean loss of mer. Mer is uh, that's uh, that u two, and loss of b that b. This proceeds. I also put the sum gem. So what happens when you lose the land? He says, and I can put this. Is, is there a way I can I can really read the two words? I don't know. When you lose the land, maybe you can minimize. Yeah, sir. Thank you. When you lose the land, you lose the work. When you lose the work, you are not a moment, but a security guard in the city. You live in filthy slums and life passes. A nomad's heart is in this land. The land that is nourished by music, stories, and songs of the world that he must not lose. I know this because I make vases when my feet touch the land. And that's the end of the quote. Please proceed. So, what is the methodology, indigenous methodology I was using in this presentation? I was focusing on sensory ethnography, sensory narrative, and friend stories. Sensory ethnography is a kind of narration where it focuses on the senses. You go beyond words and you see how the senses derive knowledge or brings knowledge to your research. And on the top of this, the senses are very alert. When they walk, you are telling your, you are telling your eyes should be open. Open, my first not open. It should be very, your ears should function. Because you need to you need to hear the happening, the ground, the music, the, the, the movement of the animals. And the, uh, yeah, and, and, and the first, also when you are testing water, when you are testing ground, uh, salt meat, when you are testing the meat, you can determine what's, what's the problem. What's the senses? Sensor narrative is a narration that, that the senses now uh, brings about. And I thought there are uh, books about uh, senses and not uh, sensory, sensory reality. And then friend story is a story within a story that comes with another story. So when, when I was uh, I was uh, inter I was doing a conversation with my elders, uh, they will bring a story, another story inside, a different one, a different until I did the research what was I wanted in the first story. So friend stories, and that's why now uh, from the left, uh, I use material culture. I think we are seeing the mirror. In Gerardo programs, you see some of them metaphors that use storytelling and then show observation. Observation as, a, as, as, as also an observer, but I mean, as a researcher, but also those inter interviewed. And the moment, like the, uh, the conversations, eh? in, in, in somebody, when, when you tell somebody, let's go and do an interview, don't say that. Let's go and do it once. That's what that's what conversation. So when you say it was, it's okay. That's a serious business. But uh, there's something here that I, I want to explain. I do very want to ask. Not memories, memories of the work. Memories of the work. Uh, I think now I ended my presentation. Can go the next time. presentation. That's me in the middle with the walking sticks. These beautiful women, some very women. I share them. Thank you. And the last one are some of the references. Can I proceed the last one? Uh, reference, if you reference, reference those who I interviewed, I, I did a conversation with so many of them, and then there are some references. There are not all of them here. So I say amen. Thank you very much. It had this piece of water. One more round of applause for Peter. Um, and then I could send uh, a copy of this paper uh, about 
uh, a week or so uh, before his presentation. And I was tasked with engaging with that paper. So I have a, an impossible task of trying to uh, ask him questions and, and try to summarize the things that he has said here. Uh, Peter is, is clearly an engaged scholar who has engaged and incubated uh, these ideas that he's presenting to us for a long period of time. And that comes through uh, even in his paper. So Peter, once more, we thank you very much for giving us this feast of, 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 um, of, of the forum to discuss your ideas. So thank you very much. Uh, for colleagues here and online, as you prepare your thoughts, those who may not be able to speak, you can write when we will ask these questions uh, to Peter, comments and questions. Uh, those who can speak, please, you will be required to put, on, to put up your hands and, and we will call you. So, what I'm going to do is to take maybe a few minutes to read what I wrote, because I, I engaged with Peter's paper and uh, I, I wrote down my ideas. So, this study has two main parts. The introduction, which explains the concept of no paper and describes what the internet considers negative narratives concerning personalisms that originate in the colonial period and have persisted. The second part is a detailed explanation of meanings of no paper, different types of work, distances of working, seasonal changes, the rationale of working to different places. Thirdly, the relevance of the photo, meaning uh, the heritage, the photo has a heritage to the naturalists. And finally, uh, Peter gives us recommendations uh, to promote the photo as a viable source of personalist knowledge and an important strategy for their survival. And to say about it, which I will say later on. So, the central thrust. In, in the next paper, is that your photo, a phenomenon described as a work of mobility, is a key act of human behavior as part of the naturalist in this paper, the Samburu. And that your photo heritage is relevant to the Samburu naturalist in building resilient attitudes, cultural and physical adaptability the climate variations in this detailed phenomenon of climate change and crisis. The Lofoto deserves a close scrutiny as it bears significant uh, cultural jobs for this community. The significance of, the significance of this work, I think, is that it provides insight concerning the act of mobility, the world. What it uh, calls the role. By some little pastoralists, I'll as meaning values, and as a central aspect of a little life. While studies in anthropologist mobility and movement is not new, and I'll say more on this later, our understanding of this little concept among the Samburu is fairly limited. Very particularly novel is the relationship that is being made in this paper between the work and the Samburu people as their strategy for survival in a period of hostile climate crisis. In some literature, this mobility, this sense that movements by pastoralists is seen as being destructive to the environment as personal conflicts, as being unproductive. And here we have William Richards, African History and Environment, we have G.H. Uh, G. Maddox, Sub-Saharan Africa and Environmental History. It seems, and this is really my, an important point, that the relate wants us to find this view of personal mobility upside down. To portray it as being positive, 
has been a constitutive, has been a symbol. It's an important part of the sickness and survival for their personal lifestyle. At least for us, I'll as a fiction from the mass, uh, my life generally. Thomas Pierre, Richard Wallace, classic book, The Mass I Am Survivor. In this way, they will read text, the single personalist act of working, moving, which is first no photo, and describes the various roles it plays in Samburu culture and identity. The implication being that as various factors have cutting or endangered no photo, seeing has significant aspects of doing Samburu life being endangered too. In the types of Lepeto identified, that there are identified at least four, uh, one being cultural animals in water, cultural uh, animals in grazing fields, cultural uh, animals in the soil streets, and cultural many walks in different places, depending on seasons before the return of rain. So, to identify these types of these various types of work, the present, the present study shows that the Samburu is reenacted and also passed down aspects of their cultural values across the relations through this work, through the through the total. Due to a variety of factors, principally climate change, the forms of mobility have been compromised, tamed, and we did various roles that were created among the Samburu have also been contained. In spite of the of the range of things that will be outlined below, so a few uh, that I will apply below, uh, the presenter today, Peter, certainly is bringing something significant onto the table. And from the method of hermeneutics, Peter argues for understanding the feeling very aspects of your culture. This argument is sustained in my view as significant implications, which I think Peter will be able to explore in his research, because he told me this is just the beginning. Now, I go to a bit of a critique of, of Peter. It is significant to note that uh, Peter writes as an insider of the Samburu personal way of life, and he admits as much. He is writing, he is writing is clearly sympathetic to this way of life, which the author feels is being destroyed. Why there are many advantages to being an insider as a research endeavor, for example, privileged access, familiarity with language, the terrain, the sources, unique insights, and so forth, and this is clear to the last mm -hmm. presenting here. Being an insider also comes with a considerable challenge. Peter does not show in his writing, at least from the writing that he presented to us, uh, whether he appreciates the challenges that come with being an insider, sometimes called insider bias. And sometimes he homogenizes the views, the informants with his own views, and there will be a bit of sensitivity to criticism or negative portrayal of his subject. While complete objectivity is never expected in this kind of research, which are able to show at least some awareness of his biased position in this research and propose how he intends to tackle it. A writer's, bias, a writer's bias is exposed, for example, in the speculative writer on page two. I think I can read that. So in page three, for example, Peter tells us, this paper will show that when the Samuel personalists practice their theoretical working, and use their indigenous knowledge in determining seasons and changes, they will survive amid this, uh, the present climate crisis as they have done. 
Now, obviously, this is speculative writing. Uh, we will know what will happen tomorrow. Um, there are several such examples. Another example I think is in page four. If I may go there again. Page four, uh, the last, the second last, and last paragraph. After work, working for more than seven years in community development in the field of justice and peace, climate change and resilience, peace building, advocacy and governance among the personalists in Laikipia. If you know Marsabit counties, and this is Peter Love speaking, I had a strong desire to champion the challenges facing the Sandin personalists and promote their only livelihood, personalism, on their point of view. It is clear that uh, Peter is entering this conversation as an insider. So, Peter, I have suggested a few writers. Uh, my favorite is somebody say Edward. I don't know. I will give you this this uh so you don't need to write everything. And the, the paper is called Words of a Further Don't Please Flock Together. So this writer argues on this idea of your position and the need to be reflexive and the need to give a critical thought about your you are where you stand as an insider or sometimes an outsider in research. So the works did you give me the kind of knowledge that you bring to the table. You know, so this critical thought about your position is important. I also argue with you, Peter, here that it is not actually the put Western scholars that's involved in the same manner of perpetuation of false narratives about personalism and personalists and the land use and animals, which you have said in 25. I think you have significant allies in Western scholarship. Um, like I mentioned, some of this, one of these is, uh, is, is Professor David Anderson uh, in his book, The Poor I Wrote Us. I carried a copy of this, so I should give you that copy. Tom uh, Sia and Richard Wala Bill Masai, this class is book. And Dorothy, Dorothy Hodgson in Bill Masai Becoming Indigenous. So I think you have a significant number of allies, uh, even in Western, in, in Western scholarship. Uh, I there's some problematic scholarship as well. These are my questions now. And what special flow from what I've just finished? And looking at your list of, of references, I noticed that key, the books which I consider key, this session of personalism in East Africa, the people, the people are probably in Sayu, David Anderson, in Warwick, uh, on Sphere, uh, and his colleagues, Richard Wall, uh, Michael Bolling, the University of Cologne. These people have written a lot in pastoralism. I'm wondering why uh, they are somewhere else, but in the people that you gave me, I don't see these names. And I thought maybe you can see that this, not your, not, uh, maybe not your allies, uh, but you will tell us. Why do you not have these legal authorities on personalism? My second question is speak about the influence that the seven years that you worked in community development, justice, peace, climate change, resilience, peace building, you've spoken about the influence this period had on you. My question is can you describe further what you mean by this? What influence did this work that you did? Uh, what exactly did you mean by that? I think that was an important statement you made. My, other, my next question is in this study, to suggest the table has been a phenomenon of work that has been practiced by Samburu for a long time. Is it possible, and this is the question, is it possible that there are, there are other forms? Or expressions of your code of this study may be missing, which are not necessarily in comes to be in which are not necessarily demonstrated in our work. Why focus on the work only or on the work as the only form, given that communities are supposed to transform in changing circumstances? And we have a very specific writer called George Paul uh, Mail. George Paul writing in the Samburu, the book is called Ethno-Eroticism. 
talks about uh, who's drawing around making an alternative livelihood in the press. And he gives an ethnographic description of how new forms of wealth accumulation is understood by this man. So, uh, this kind of thing is considered a new form of work. We have the uh, Ryan from Samburu go to the first to try to accumulate wealth in alternative ways. In other words, I'm telling you whether you are central centralization of your proto is valid. So I'm challenging that. Now, given that final question, given that you have centralized your proto in your study, one would expect uh, I think this question you answered it in a presentation. I would have one would have expected geography and terrain to become significant. Because you have two issues about the work, and the work is done on the surface on the earth, when geography becomes uh, a significant uh, part of this of this work. So I think this this uh, question was answered. I think in relation to that, you uh, give various names. Uh, in in uh, paper, we talk about parts of Samburu. Where is Samburu? Samburu is Samburu. And I was wondering whether these names have some kind of indigenous alternative uh, names, and maybe they have other meanings, uh, these three parts of the Samburu. Or do these names bear any? Cultural traditional significance. Do we have other names for these areas, these three broad Samburu areas? Because we know East, West, and North are, are recent names. And what significance do this classification of this land have for your people? I've given a few suggestions which I think we'll discuss later on. So that is what I had uh, in terms of my reading of, of uh, Peter Stepper. So we'll go to the next session where we'll pick uh, three questions from the audience here. And I hope our colleagues online have prepared uh, their own questions and put them down there or you can raise up your hands. So those of you who have uh, questions you can raise your hand and I will call you out. Or, or is it okay for you do you want to respond first or we take questions first? I'd say that. I can respond to that. Yeah. Then I'll give you some time. So thank you very much, Dr. Elwood, uh, for your insights in my paper and uh, uh, I must say that uh, I'm reading this paper uh, to be my PhD work. So, still in the, in the copy, and I've already got a lot of insights from, uh, from your paper and also presentation. And uh, I'm be very happy to include uh, some of the inputs and also look at the, uh, the scholars you have provided. I've not really done a lot of research as you. Which I think when I'll be doing my PhD now, uh, what I'll, I'll really uh, tackle that. So thanks for those uh, sources. Um, so I can start with a question uh, written uh, the, the other, the other works. So I think I've, I've responded to that. I, I must say that uh, that's a very important question to to to, to this discussion. Uh, some of them have not already met uh, elementary, but I'm very sure. As I proceed, uh, I will encounter them and I will look at where they are and include my paper. Um, then the second question about uh, the influence of the, uh, the seven years. And uh, I was putting under the insertion, insertion section of, of the presentation. Why, why, did I, why did I want to do a PhD? So that was one of the explanations. So, um, Going out from the class from the MSMR and going to work as a social worker. And now, because I've been in the country for more than a year, eight years, and now going to the first to the, to the, to the hospital is now and 
see often when we try on different locations in regards to uh, peace building, then uh, the aspects issues, and uh, the one that we do things that are going to do things. So I would invite and say now, what is good well do? What's my role? As maybe as an academician. Why 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 is uh, this uh, changes, the many changes are really becoming worse and worse. Where this person is becoming uh, um, a little problematic. I found that we need to find a thing that even the focus, that there are related issues, that we should learn. So that's really motivating me to need to put a question on that. So but that was the, uh, the what motivated me to, uh, to register as a PhD student and, and to, so that I can. I can uh, look at that, uh, that question. Now, uh, your total, okay, yeah. Then there is a question on how far can end on work? The work at the center, uh, the total is the centrality of work and you have to focus on the kind of work like you mentioned, uh, George. George, is it George Paul? Yeah. And I'm very sure I will, I will do in my research, I will kind of this, this different, these this are the works. Because, for example, uh, when this specialist, um, the levels, the levels are really affected in the work. When the animals die, they can't walk along with those the animals. What happens? So what do you do? They say climate change, I don't know, migration. So when you read the animals, they are homes, and they go to the cities. Of course, to get a survival, or to get money. But where, so in that, for example, so there are those kind of works we are at the encounter as I proceed. But the question is, suppose all of that, or all the elders and these will come to cities. What will happen with their knowledge? Will the knowledge be generated when they are under the roofs, big roofs, big roofs, with their power holding cars? What will happen to their knowledge? Where will they? What stories are they going to give their young ones? The TV stories? So we see where I'm coming from. So the literature, uh, out of the, the research I'm trying to do, in the news for torture, as, a, as an elder, what, what stories are you going to tell about your environment, about your history, about your environment, interaction with the environment? What will you tell about the, the diseases that the, that the animals get, the medicinal part of knowledge? How will you tell for all the people? What will happen to you? What will happen to the most than one more coming? I'm not saying that the solution I'm making, but I can imagine that. Uh, so, I'll I, I, I get some other writers who have proposed uh, a little bit of research on, on different uh, works. I think that's why I'm, I'm planning to interrogate even those kind of works as, as I, I get I them. Are uh, there new forms of work? I think that was uh, uh, the, the idea. Are they valid? So I think when they are affected, when the health is affected, those works now will come in. But the question, I think the question will have been given further, what is the implication of those works to the body of knowledge that the total is uh, to bring in? What will happen? Um, and then I also like to, uh, the, the, the comment that makes the worst, the east, the north of some new, I think that those are, those are the, uh, the information I got from uh, the CIDP country, integrated development plans. So it's a reason, it's not my ass, that they are found their locations. But I'm very sure I will go and do research and I will get the real ones of the San Diego Dominions. Also looking at the, uh, remember the fish I was showing, the mountains. So I do, I, as, as I proceed, I will, I, will, I will get the names and most of the significance and cultural and also relevance to the church. I really have to do that to, uh, to, to, to be able to be well grounded. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. For... So we go to the audience here and uh, let's go and start at the back. Uh, thank you for a very good presentation. Um, I have a couple of questions. 
the proponents. So, when you introduce the concept of Lothrodo and the pastoralism, we take the natural phenomena. We'll be going for working, we'll be going for meetings, we'll be uh, taking care of your boundaries, and therefore we'll be a natural process irrespective of whether you're Maasai, Samburu, or anything in the world. Resources are scarce. I think, I think there's the issue of uh, scarcity of resources. And so that the fellows would be so want to protect your territory. The question now from that one is uh, say that uh, uh, most of the conflicts in Nigeria uh, emanate from uh, this level. But we are moving up, we are protecting the territory, there is gravity, there is conflict with others, and uh, naturally, because of uh, resource issues and boundary issues and large gravity, we should all come together. Uh, then we find ourselves uh, even working better and fighting more to teach you. Thank you. Thank you, Peter, for. Um, a very interesting presentation. Uh, so we have things, uh, I think so we are going to border on either comments or questions. If that, if that is going to be a bit about. Now we will refuse time with severally, uh, even time exchange crisis. And I was wondering what exactly that means. So that then we can put into a perspective of origin, develop the evolution of this level of adaptation because that is how I understood it. I understood it to be an adaptation to changing climates. And climate has always been changing. So when you talk about these particular adaptations, which you are calling war, Lotodo, is it specific to one impact of climate change? Because you don't tell us what, what that is, what, what climate change stands for or what it means. The other one, I'd be interested to know how the Lokodo adaptation is either different or similar to how Maasai uh, in southern Kenya adapts to, to similar environmental challenges. And then the last one is the, uh, basically a history of the Lokodo itself. Because uh, we know that, uh, especially for meteorological material and evidence, that uh, the Samburu have not always been where they are now. So I'm, I'm, I'm interested in knowing what led to that particular adaptation and when it may have started. And uh, just like the first question, it's evolution over time to where we are now. Thank you. Okay, we'll get the last one uh, for this round. Yes, Shani. Um, thank you. My name is Shani from Kenyatta University. Thank you very much to the presenter of today for the interesting presentation. Um, the presenter has mentioned that the Sambu will have their world view, and under the world views, the presenter mentioned Hutu humanity, and he gave various aspects of Hutu, one of them being reconciliation. And he said that the Sambu people, as they look, um, they reconcile themselves to various things, one of them being nature. So my question is, how do they somebody reconcile themselves to, to nature? How do they reconcile themselves to nature? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll go to Kaya here. Um, so thank you very much, uh, uh, Peter. Um, yeah. so, um, please uh, is so much I don't know um, uh, it's a culture. But, um, it comes around as um, a study of some kind of lifestyle tied to strong social cultural linkages. Uh, I understand this way. Linkages controls and movements that is associated with constant uh, 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 which you call uh, 
Uh, and to continue, and so it is a small question. Oh, and then, um, it was introduced to uh, the work of the so many questions that we have. But the first one is, um, you know, as, as I listened to you and tried to look at which we are privileged to how we can advance. I seem to be in progress of pretty well as you as 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 it were. And also you give us a threshold of your analysis, uh, it comes out as an outlash against um the challenge that comes with um, uh, that is really what uh, we were uh, talking about earlier. Uh, when we were looking at the scenes as an insider. And um, I was just wondering, and um, we raised this earlier, uh, what is it do you want to do to put yourself aside and your sanguineness and uh, look at these issues more objectively uh, and probably it is possible from the level at which you are right now? Uh, that's, that's just a comment to think about. But my small question is, um, as I read your paper and listened to you, uh, we mind went into uh, many studies on migration settlement. We can move down in the 60s uh, as a kind of, um, you know, you are certain the role of African agency in, in African history, which had been denied by colonial historiography. And uh, the picture that emerges from these many studies, uh, especially uh, when I think back to the study of uh, uh, Professor William Schoen, produced before 1900, I'm sure you have seen the, the study. There's also the study by what you're about in, 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 in the history of the South and the world. And I'm very curious. Um, you know, the picture that emerges from those studies is that uh, migration by these communities, uh, you know, some people communities, was actually a rational coping mechanism uh, with environmental possibilities. And uh, your study about the people has resonance to, to, to this. So, my question is um, uh, Is your study some kind of uh, revisionism of sorts? Or, in the other way of asking the same question, is uh, it's really what you're proposing to, to study that moves us away from understanding? Uh, movements uh, as a way of coping uh, with environmental families. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Roche. Uh, so you um, tell you have uh, questions from uh, Dino Amolo, Chulo, uh, uh, Shami, and, and Chair. I hope you're able to look down the questions. Okay. So you're welcome. Yes. Well, thank you again for these questions. These are really coming like they are working to me. Maybe fast I will do the next question. I don't know what I do. Where I will now. I think I, this person here I met you to reflect out and even to see all the gaps in, in my work, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm starting the journey. So, so, also, I see all the, uh, some, 
some areas to, to really work on. So I really appreciate that. And I don't know really where I will be able to respond according to your very uh, to your expectations, but uh, I will attempt to, uh, to say something. Uh, the operation I don't know really need to, it is really the what I say is when you say about the countries like if you are managing from the location, there's a location on that. Yeah, so um, I I don't need to be appreciated on that, but I can say that like if you are uh, was a fatal place, is a fatal place for customers. That's why the, the mass I don't know the time of the women, most of them are in the Kiki. So, fertility of the land. When they are expelled, they found areas which are not fatal like the Kiki. And the like, Kiki is very good in ranching. But, uh, yeah, what do you call the uh, ranching? Uh, even the cattle keeping and uh, a vulnerable area. And that's why. And this is my, my own observation that even when they are still in different areas in our service and when time of route, the part of the area they are coming to is like Hippia. But I'm very sure that there's no one of the areas in Hippia. Why? That plant is everywhere. A good percentage of the like Hippia land is ready for surplus. So, the, like, it's a matter of like, they are not coming back to a hotel area. So, issues of land grabbing has already been done there, and there's, there's no space, even stock routes, it's, it's, it's even difficult to access as, in a certain place. In fact, in like, the most of them, I see most of them already grazing along the roads. But there are no areas to really go and grace. So, I think there are information of uh, problems. But for the oil biology, and what's what that the, 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 the land needs, the chicken land needs to the next side. You see? So I think that's what I can say about the location and the way we are putting. The more you are, 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 um, yeah, you know, somebody mentioned about uh, you know, the climate change that uh, there's always uh, changing systems. So, what is new in it? I think uh, the studies on climate change today see uh, shows that, uh, of course, one of things that's been happening, but uh, recently, Impacts are, are really relaxing. So, the first one is, of course, having that knowledge already how to handle it yeah, in different times. In fact, one day when we interviewed her, I did a conversation with her, a certain man, he told me the stories of how he sees the land and the bit of grass and, and, and water and growing when it was a man and now. So, different things. He tells me that uh, before we used to work less. Because we knew, we see that I think what we did was because we knew that they were growing in that season, that area, that season. Be, but we will see now, even that season, the area we expect the room and we wanted to move that area, the room is not coming. So we get confused. Where do we go? So that's why some of them now, in this long period, they go down to the government mount, mountain, Mount Kenya. And that's not the time of the for their, for their house, even for themselves, also even if you buy So they get frustrated, they become disoriented with the with the with the with the with the, with the, with the, with the So it is worsening. The situation is worsening because of the climate uh, aspect. And I think of course the government will do justice on that. I need to do this and, and research on, on, on that. And the topic is not so. And I'm getting the, the idea that the future should not be specific to climate change um, issues. Huh? But what I'm seeing is like a, a pre adaptation strategy. It's not, they are not moving because of climate change. Um, there's a whole other um, issue, reasons why they are like that. Like they need to know to move to do research in Mount 
we have not to the rest of the knowledge. And because of cultural knowledge on, on, on issues and some things. So I think that the more I study, the, the more I, I am getting this discussion, the more I get that answer to the, the role of the torture, apart from any um, large issues, which are somehow also um, short lived. So is there any uh, uh, another moment as, as I proceed uh, in, in having this topic? Yes. Oh, yeah. I know that much on that. The, the, the little conversation I had is that they tell me, first of all, they are not, I want to like, climate change. They, are, they tell me, they tell me, they tell me, can you, can you, um, they call it Mendo Venawa House, Mendo Venawa Mount, can you put the one poster down, right? Can you tell us in our own language, what are you saying, climate change? So then they are, yeah, it is, they tell it, uh, they can benefit, you can benefit like a person here. The changing of the unit, and the possibly the unit. So it's not climate change, but I know that we have been what's mentioned on, on that. And then, um, so we don't see it as, as a problem. Oh, well, it's not magnified when you are scrolling the world and all that. Because they say, okay, we know that uh, from season, uh, some tomorrow, we know this will, this, this will want to happen. And this one is going to happen. Now, with the 10, the 20, 20 now seasons, we shall we are not going to be able to what to do. And so, I think I need to do more on that. What, what is the understanding of this? I'm going to climate change. That one, I, 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 I have not done really much on that. And then, um, yeah, what is the, the, the reporter on the question similar to that of the next slide? Um, we are passing from Asa, we share a lot of um, uh, maybe cultural uh, rights, classes. Uh, the Masa has got a lot of different uh, history because you know, it's one day to another and uh, they are settled. Their houses are mostly, and they are, most of the land are already sold for cyber, even even in Kajiana. And in our lands, we are still communal. So I don't know that difference, that is a uh, land ownership. As uh, is, it should, it should be now a difference between the, the Marx and the Samuel, currently, which are still communal and municipal land, which they can build. They can uh, do a lot of maybe in a more comfortable way than those maybe of municipal land, maybe have been sold to others for other purposes of land. And then we might have this land too. But I think also there must be costing when you get in different uh, large cases. The cost to the mass is the other part of the Tanzania. Is that that cost in also the government? So maybe that, that would be a, a different experience. We might have a different experience. And the concept of the total should press me to, to, to that if, if I was to maybe to, to do that. Maybe I would get some uh, similarities or even differences. How does this do on the torture? Some people want to lead to the torture and then. Is that the question? This is what led to the torture. Oh. And I think the problem was that uh, this is the natural end of thing to the Sambil. I don't have really an answer on this. I don't have an answer on this, but uh, I think also I need to work on, on this question. And uh, uh, based on, so I can imagine if the land was not communal and it's, uh, they have uh, individual farms, where would the question be them? I mean, why should they be if you can bring rights to them, to the animals in their home? Why, why, what is the reason of getting, 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 getting out? And also getting to work. If the land is fenced, getting to work. So I think when we change the lifestyle, even though some way in a city, I think that there are other aspects of your torture we should be really missed. Yes, you will get money to survive as a person. All the knowledge that will be related to your torture, how will you get and how will you transmit? Because this knowledge also is transmitted by working. You also experience, you experience it. 
So I'm going to invest not in those uh, this kind of situations. Ah, uh, yeah, about the one two and the one two and the reconciliation in nature. Uh, how do how do some people reconcile in nature? So, so we believe that the people believe that when there is a disharmony, it's not only disharmony of two people. It's disharmony mostly of families to families, uh, clan even to clans, because when issues are there. Now, like relationship, and now it's only a clan and a clan. It was an issue of two people, two families. So, um, so it's a very, that is, is, is a very significant issue. So, when they want to solve it, you can't solve it only well, as you cannot be telling two people who want to solve the issues there. You have to solve, solve it communally, clans to clans, it depends also with the weight of the issues. And then they believe that uh, when there is examining, uh, even the ancestors are not happy. Even uh, uh, the supreme is not happy. Even the, the land itself is hostile to you. So what they do, the issues after uh, issues that are resolved, there are issues that have to be done. Please. And part of it is also you are in general issues with safety and mistake, and you are being accepted by your community, by your nature, by, by even the family. So that kind of and then the uh, Kenneth, uh, there was a question on what is the only reason in this time? I think that's that's the question that said. Um looking at other studies or from from other studies and from some of the I think we need also to find out what other aspects have said about mobility. But you see, some of the scholars are also depend on the views of also the 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 political orientation, social, and, and all that. And I also post your post your post your uh, studies, scholars so will realize this that uh, there's a problem somewhere. And maybe some of them have drafted or even got some uh, uh, arguments which are not really the way the colonial uh, set as well. So I will need to, to, to do that so that uh, I, I see the working knowledge. The novelty in this uh, in this project. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I responded really you know, according to your expectation, but uh, I think that also it's an assignment to me to work on. So thank you. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, I think people who want to ask people who want to see who they are. Mm -hmm. Posting questions too. So I will go to online. We have about 20 minutes to go. So we will go to our online friends. I just raise your hand and I will call your name and you can ask your question. Is there anyone? Any of our colleagues online? Uh, are you hearing us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, can you hear us online? Okay, as we wait, uh, yes, as we wait for people online, I think we can uh, pick up one more round here. So, Sula. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, uh, I, I, this is in response to uh, one of your responses to the questions that were asked in round one. And I was just wondering from your answers whether there is anything that is tied to either gender or age or social status like marriage and, and things like that when it comes to actualization of the Lotodo. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, uh, Peter, for the wonderful presentation. Uh, my question ties with what somebody asked you earlier. Uh, when you bring up to your argument, you seem to show that uh, the main policy of the colonial rule was to contain the Australians and particularly the Sambuan, you mentioned the Sambuan. When you look at the colonial records, they seem to bring out a different narrative. For example, uh, the Sambuan of, of uh, when people have to they say that uh, we came here and this uh, massacred in Java, there was nobody there, there were remnants of villages, and they were taken off, so the land was free. And they also mentioned uh, something that the land is invited some of them to some who go and settle among them. And, uh, don't you think that uh, the the photo the work of the Sambil uh, contained in them. Is the did they not contain themselves it's with those rocks because they left the land and now the Europeans will come and settle in. And even they are noticing if you look at the colonial records, the disturbance in Sambil. Uh, noticing that we are using this land, it seems that if you go by by senior as asking you, is the women who cited the Sambori men that we are building the equipment, we are married to the settlers, and then you go and take the land back, the land that you left, other than the men who not have known. Right? Thank you. Okay, very yeah. interesting question there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I think I have only two questions. The first question, which I would like to ask is, are there any external factors or invention that impacted the practice of the Lototo heritage before? And if so, how do they influence resilience and adaptation strategies? The second question, what role does the Lototo play in the cultural heritage and cohesion among the Sambulu community. Thank you. Finally, oh, Eric. My name is Ombaso Eric, and I have a question. So, in your paper, I think Eric, told... Eric you speak loudly across the mic. Yes. Okay. So, in your paper, I saw you, you depict modern government policies as being facades to the Samburu culture of Lototo. So what makes you think that modern policies, for example, encouraging people of your community to settle down and reducing the number of livestock, what makes you think they are assaders to your community? Thank you very much. And I think Peter, you can take this. Yes. Uh, you wait for the people online to uh, ask your questions, you can either write them down, yes. or you can lift your hands. So, Peter. So, uh, I remember the terms from the next moment, even this time. So, I think uh, what I'll do uh, is, uh, with my work now is to look at the, uh, how does the total informs. Uh, the issue of pastoralist movement, and also in terms of uh, those modern county county aspects, what are the lessons we are learning from the church to inform policy processes? Maybe at the county level, or even in the uh, the areas where the pastoralism is 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 is, uh, is practiced. So that is that's what I'm seeing. I will need to. I think we are one of the novelty of this type. What, 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 what's the line of the culture that can inform favorable uh, 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 policies to, to pastoralism? Because then, to have a policy, a pastoralist policy, 
that space in the heart of the person when they lose. Come and idea of crossing the boundaries because they are coming from far. They are coming from a different area. From few movement, like even the I think in the uh, transhumans, uh, transhumans, uh, mobility, uh, what is that they're coming in? And there's a lot of restrictions. And people don't like that, that, that policy. Because why do you open your boundary for somebody else? And maybe you inter interact in boundaries and all that. So we, we are taking some set kind of uh, ideas in policy processes at the county level because we don't have policies of passwords. You see? So maybe that's one of the novelties. Um, the issue of the uh, church. Uh, the issue of the gender and the gender and the gender, yeah, it's very important. As I was saying in my presentation, if each gender or each person has a responsibility, you are only moving the animals in the morning, and as well with the small animals, you have to go for water to support these animals, these animals. So each one has. His or her own to ensure that the torture is maintained and there is, let's say, there's a problem of life. You see, so that, that's that the, the general aspect is, I think, is really um, important there. And then the issue of the yeah, the issues. The, the, you see, now the, the, the colonial mentality is, and maybe the fact that the country is the something that we know. But we don't need to move the area. We move because this season is not better in that area. They have to go to the lowlands. The lowlands is the highlands. So we go for the soft mix and so on. It's in this circular area or the area of the mountains area. They have to move the mountains. Now they don't know that there's a lot of seasons. They have to come up the mountains. You know that they have to come. So they they go and use the observation for them without understanding the area. So that's what's what's the the process of 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 the teaching and how do you why do people move for what purpose? And I think in the narrative it is good to get them again in the land of the community, community land. They say when you are in these local areas, you see uh, the winters, nobody is doing that. They say, ah, oh, but why don't you don't actually do that like this land, this land? Yeah, but it's the business and the they don't have to use the ground and different type of the year. You see, so maybe that, that's what it was but the first meant for to convince others that this, this is how we build the house. So we need to take it to take it more land. Um, then, uh, so the total movement must have contained the first place. <laughs> you know, if you are moving, not where they are, they are. No, no, it's the only thing that they want to survive. Um, then you start as a sign. Is it you know when I get to my is it you said that you are telling the man you guys are you are convinced that the land is second. Can you help and do something? Do the I mean now especially the the crisis of uh, climate during the crisis when there is more to go or even the seasons are not predictable the non events. How can they say they say now where do you go? And some of well, but we used to go to visit our apartment in Nigeria. And we had to go and this and this thing went up all the time. You see? So this movement is not continuing. We have to connect them wherever they are. Despite the these colonial boundaries, which are really this Nigeria, this and really, but we know our country is in the capacity. You see? And they also farm the animals sometimes to us in a certain system. You see? Um, and there are only common factors that uh, impact the literature and impact the religion. The, 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 so the real thing there, the aspect of it, all of these things, because uh, people can be difficult for them, why don't you do something different where we can settle? But I think the, the issue is not only safety. The issue is about the value of knowledge associated with the literature. Which, which there is a thing that I was making, I was making that less of the church and to some degree, less of the church means less of land, less of knowledge, less of the idea. 
So suppose all the community land was taken, and these guys are making the slums. What 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 their knowledge? Why are they transmitting here? What is the ability of the internet? What not the amount of work that I'm not going to take to my children to be more no experience? I'm not talking about all these kind of passages that are part of the women and also the church. What is the amount of education and social protection? I think these this, this are the main um, issues of conflict that the families are contributing to each other and, 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 and what's the role of the church? You see, the problem is also embedded on uh, the covenant of the uh, of reconciliation, of forgiveness, and within the context of Samhuri, when you when you have to know where the elders are, you see? So, the purpose gives possibility to match to where solutions are found. Maybe they are in a different mountain, different categories, in a specific town, in a specific community. You see? And it's also it's a, it's a ritual, it's a type of ritual movement. So it's not that you put in a car and go to a mountain and move back out of You see, there's no person generated as to go and look for reconciliation. You also to move the mountain to go and look for a tree, as a specific tree or even the grass to come and say, the good news is the grass. So suppose you see this map, there's no one touch it. What will happen? What will you plan? What will you plan? And then the uh, government policies. It may be that the uh, 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 to the Samuel. You see, uh, it became it became the first where uh, the frame of the town containing the lab and these pathways. They put them in the big house, like in Maradoya, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, security agencies, different types of them. Is that is you see? Is is security compatible with the church? Because the torture is nothing. Security is nothing with the people. So it's not a compatibility between the policies and the lifestyle of the pastorist. And that's one of the things I have to do. But also, some of the things are actually been in terms of the pastorist, where they should be, how they should be approached, how they should be handled. You see? So I see, I see. I see the policies, like for example, I will give you an example of uh, the new commission. If the policy, the new policy of the police, we will put on that uh, new commission to where the companies are, so that they can uh, sell the animals, they can get more money, instead of taking, uh, taking risks, selling goods uh, from uh, like somebody, coming to Nairobi, a lot of uh, transportation costs. Maybe you start up on the way, that's a risk, and you go with it. Goes, and some of the way, it's very interesting, you can learn, but you don't have to manage. Well, the country when they say that much, then the people can be involved in the process. So is that not one of the results of the policies? You see, the people have resources to different areas, and they will be very talented, and they will be very talented. You see, like that. So, and then also the idea that uh, these areas are dangerous. Yeah? I think the the sector is not to be very serious. Not to be fair. So, all that this perception of really created the 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 pastors were handled. And even the way the environment was was uh, uh, shaped. And also, and also think about the uh, NGO island and how to. And then I was very happy to development to them to the passes. So I think if the policies are there, which are favorable, they speak to the hearts of and the needs of the pathways, then create more strategies, better ways to to, um, to the pathways, to survive to the pathways. Okay. Uh Peter, if you just stay there, I think we have uh, a question from online. Uh, 
Professor Shifton. Professor Shifton, would you like to voice your question? Uh, Professor Shifton. Yes, so thank you very much. Can you, can you hear me all right? Can can you hear me? I don't know. Yes, please carry on. I, um, okay, well, I, I uh, would like to say this very fine presentation has been a valuable uh, reminder um, and lesson highlighting uh, the importance of movement and mobility in a way of life and in a way of understanding. Now, uh, just to look at things from an opposite perspective for a moment, from the side of sometimes staying put in place. Might one speak of seasonal sedentism, of ruminant animals, nocturnal sedentism, of Moran temporary cattle camp sedentism, and so on. And my second part of the question is this, where social identities are concerned, does one stand permanently or only transiently in Samburu identity, Kenyan identity, settler identity, urbanite identity? And ought someone in this respect uh, keep trying to move on? In any case, thank you for this enlightening conversation. Thank you, Tech. Thank you, Ashun. Thank you very much. Uh, so, thank you, Prof. I also read some uh, comments, and I really appreciate your comments. And I really got the question on system of some adventurism. I don't think we can never answer a real question. Let me read this. Uh, this fine presentation has been a valuable lesson and reminder highlighting the importance of mobility and movement in a way of life and of understanding. Now, to look at things from an open perspective for a moment, from the side of sometimes staying put, might one speak of seasonal sedentism, ruminant animals, nocturnal sedentism, Moran temporary apple camp sedentism, meaning they are still in food, still in place, and so on. And then where social identities are concerned, this is the second question. So the first question is about thinking about sedentism, meaning people are still in food. Uh, how, how do you think about that? And then the second part is uh, where social identities are concerned, that the ones stand permanently or only transnationally in some new identity. A Kenyan identity, a settler identity, urban identity. And or someone in this respect is trying to move on, uh, meaning identity of some new and all these identities, that someone stick to one or this identity is mm -hmm. one transitioning um, from one thing to the other. I don't know if the questions are clear now. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Let me start with the second one. Um, there are different challenges. There's some um, some people are going to that run away from the the cultural uh, aspect of the purpose and move to towns. And maybe when we do that experience. And we adapt the right of time and maybe less on the issue of the church. So, in that case, of course, they are going to adapt to any other lifestyle. They might, they might uh, find him uh, in, different, in different places. But of course, also going to these areas, they will also be uh, experiencing uh, the identity which is uh, 
which, which is being made by those police in those rural, rural areas. So I don't think it might be permanent enough because of different mm -hmm. uh, circumstances that people will, will move to. But for the first of those who are really in the harvest. So there is one there, there is one issue that uh, there are people who are really constantly keeping on culturally the way we life. There are those who are um, educated and they are uh, animals and they don't practice they don't practice that life daily. They have other people to keep the animals and be out of them and maybe most of them they use uh, they sell the animals for economic is it kind of economic thing. And maybe less cultural aspect. So in one way, it might change because of um, uh, the circumstances that uh, there some people find themselves in. And then the question about um, whether this system, uh, system we are talking about system of sedentarism. So what I wanted to say here is, uh, in fact, when they are moving, especially the system one, not everyone is moving. The Maniata will only be The old the elderly will stay. The cows and the and the animals which which are seen like uh, small young ones, they will stay because they can't move to so they select who to move, who to go to expect in the and who 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 knows. Both the people and also the animals. So those who, who are selected do. To work on what the, the resource why well, maybe their energy, whether they are in a day, really their body health, and the and the, and the, the challenges that they might uh, see in, in the areas where they want to move. Uh, we now that depends, we now want to move or we not move. You see? So I don't want to say that uh, everyone is moving, others are staying, that's why there's a departure, and then we go back to where we came from. And so it's not only a question of morals moving like this, maybe simply by as morals moving or system of sedentism. It's more than because in the case when, when there is no system, the issue when there is no is a uh, moral time. The others come back to, but they still report to other purposes. So as, as I investigate this topic, I think it is more than uh, what what is maybe uh, perceived. Um, by maybe a few scholars who are looking at the mobility of only in terms of grass and water. I mean, the more I study uh, this topic, the more I get uh, a different uh, um, roles of the church, which can also bring the leaders, the social uh, aspect of it, of it the, the, the ownership aspect of it, even if it's not the type of leaders and, and so forth. Yeah, so maybe it might be a combination of, of roles. That's the total country. And that's why the money that comes out of it is so diverse. Because in terms of the uh, medicine and medicinal uh, knowledge, uh, how to study better when they are uh, taking water or when they are feeding, when they are walking, you see, that the body of the animals in different seasons. So that not also even the, the more you study, the more it gets. Uh, different roles, what you get in the total is more than you have to move in because of grass and it. Yeah, so that's uh, really, I really don't know about uh, responded to that question, but that's what I can say. Thank you very much. Uh, Peter, thank you. We must love uh, you another round. Who was in this? Uh, I can engage in a fascinating uh, research adventure. We can only wish uh, that what we expect at the end, which I think would be uh, this deeper exploration on this issue, uh, will, will, will happen. We thank you very much, Peter, for giving us this opportunity to engage you, uh, for sharing with us, your, with us your paper even earlier on. I think we have your permission to share your email, I suspect. Some people may want to send you more comments. Yeah, so once more, thank you very much. So colleagues, uh, we have come to the end of the discussion today. Um, I allow me to introduce people from KU Chair. Uh, these are our senior students who are completing fourth year. Uh, Shali, Mumia, uh, Makoha, Wanyoni, 
uh, Sarah Vina and Eric Ombaso uh, who with us here. Uh, thank you very much. We really appreciate what the University of Nairobi is doing. There is James yes, Mwangi uh, from Kenyatta University. I think he will. Uh, James, uh, thank you very much. So we appreciate very much what your department is doing. And uh, we at KU are carefully and slowly observing, and we hope to emulate you in the future. Thank you very much. And uh, back to you, Chairman. Um, thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Yeoban, uh, for putting it in this, uh, this, this program. So today it was a clear program. Uh, if uh, you want to look at it badly, thank you very, very much. Friends, uh, 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 you know, so this uh, staff seminar series is to bring us together. Uh, from different disciplines, from different institutions, from different cultures, and also different generations. So, so, so Elliot, uh, our goal has been met, at least in today's uh, presentation, it was clearly, uh, it is, was something slightly away from what we are used to in historical discourse, so elements of might disciplinarity, might institutional, uh, might cultural, and uh, might generational. And I look at the young people who are attending uh, here, and uh, those of us who are really becoming dinosaurs, uh, I say, well, the discipline of history is, uh, uh, has a future. Okay, because I'm going to see the future in these young people. So mine, on behalf of the Department of History and Archaeology here at the University of Nairobi, is uh, to say thank you, thank you very much. Thank you first to our presenter, Peter. This is very well done. This is, this is great. This is something new. And um, uh, we have brought this uh, presentation, the recorded version of it, uh, onto our departmental uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and then we have a way of getting the comments that uh, viewers and listeners might we will pass them to you accordingly. Or you can go to, uh, to our YouTube channel yourself and then see what uh, those who listen after us will be saying and then to enrich uh, actually your presentation. And I'm glad that um, also your supervisor, Professor Sultan Sonji, uh, in uh, as part of my groups, and uh, I hope we will reach you uh, with uh, what we heard from the comments, observations, and, and the questions that were raised uh, in this uh, session. So thank you so much. And thank you for coming with a very strong team uh, from, from KU. This group is every time we have. We are having another one of fortnight from today. Uh, we are going to uh, some time in June. So just keep coming. We will just be, uh, we'll be coming. I will just see you online. Encourage uh, your, your colleagues and your students to, to join us online so that we can keep the conversation going. Thank you very much. My colleagues uh, who joined us on the site and others online, thank you very much. And so, our colleagues from different departments, uh, I saw Dr. Jacinta Miro from the Department of Philosophy and Religious Studies. Our issue of colleagues from the Department of Literature is so uh, a few. Uh, our friends from different parts of uh, the world, I saw colleagues from the US. Uh, and so our issue of colleagues from Korea uh, and Kendi, uh, is with the fact that the sacrifices people, people make in America is very early in the morning. Uh, in, in Korea, this is going to around 11, I think, in the night. So for people to stay up to watch this, to listen to us is quite uh, a great um, uh, sacrifice. So we thank them all. Our senior scholar, uh, scholars, uh, Professor Ron was here, he raised quite a few questions, so we thank them. Uh, Professor Parker Simpson is uh, really becoming part of this, because everything works out very early. Uh, to listen to this very keenly, we appreciate that. And of course, my very good friend, uh, Professor Sobhan Samji, uh, thank you for, for joining us. 
and there's also the engineer with your student, uh, uh, Peter. And then there is the other one that we have scheduled for our series for September, December. Uh, so thank you for being part of, 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 of this. Um, for international students, I saw quite a few online, and uh, we have one who uh, and a class from Sudan, uh, studying the history of fashion in Poland, and, and I hope you saw part of it uh, here. In the way our presenter was, uh, was dressed, so he was uh, proud to be writing uh, to, to, to Kenya, and welcome to the Department of History. And then join us, let's have this conversation. Look forward to listening to your ideas about the history of fashion in Kenya. Yeah, that's important in the future. Um, our logistics team, uh, led by uh, 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 as well as thank you, man. You do a good job there, so you know, sit comfortably and take credit for what you do. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, uh, Mr. Chen is Ichan Sinaga, and I was very well Secretary Christine Damuki for the communication needs and everything. We appreciate that. Christine, we don't take it for, for granted. Uh, our songs and technical team uh, from Delta Media, led uh, by uh, led by uh, my very good friend and brother, my son, my sister, and uh, his teammate, we appreciate this, who has taken us to the world, and uh, that's not something we take for, for granted. Thank you for the good work you always do for us, and also applauding and kind of making our YouTube channel. We appreciate that, uh, and uh, we will we, we take it for, 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 for granted. Uh, so, so we, uh, we look forward also to listen to your friend, uh, Buju. Yeah, uh, yeah. Buju, where are you? Oh, come on. Yeah, just yes, give us a salute. Uh, September, December uh, series. We look forward to listening to you. Karibu Sana and welcome. Uh, welcome. There's also a student of Dr. Song, uh, Professor Sanji. Uh, from Ambassa University uh, College. Thank you, and God bless you. I'll uh, see you in two weeks' time when we are going to uh, do a little bit more. We are going to political on our next presentation. We are going to look at some the development of dictatorships in South Africa. Uh, we have Andrew from the uh, uh, University of California, uh, Hartley talking to us about the politics of East Africa. Um, uh, Professor uh, Adam Soleil from the Department of Political Science and Public Administration in New South Arabia is going to be the moderator and discuss some of that session. Thank you. See you then. Same place, same time.